Dr. Werner Huth says he became the psychoanalyst for Reverend Peter Hullermann when Hullermann moved from the Archdiocese of Essen to the Archdiocese of Munich to undergo therapy for sexually abusing minors. Now, Huth says that upon beginning this therapy with Hullermann, that he set out some very specific orders. And the most important of those specific orders was that Hullermann may no longer in his entire working life work together with children. He says throughout the years, however, that his guidance was ignored on several occasions. Of course, we know today that Hullerman continued to sexually abuse minors. In fact, he was convicted of doing so in 1986. Now, Hoot says that throughout the years, there was uh, some minor progress uh, in this therapy. However, he does say that the progress was very, very limited in part because Hullerman was at no time willing to accept that, in fact, he did have a problem uh, with sexually abusing minors, of course. Now, the big question that many people uh, are asking and have been asking is to what extent was Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, who today, of course, is Pope Benedict XVI and who was in charge of the Archdiocese of Munich and Freising, to what extent was he informed about all of this? And who says, and he says he does know the decision makers uh, of the time, he says he does not believe that Ratzinger or Pope Benedict ever knew that uh, Reverend Hullerman had been put back to work. Now, Hoot says that in the past couple of days, Hullerman asked him for an emergency meeting, and he said he looked very bad and looked as though he'd aged prematurely. Fred Pleitgen, CNN, Berlin.